Hi, I'm the Nerdy Nifty Nana, and today I'm going to talk about Cuba Maze 2.0 Starter Box Worm Colors. This is a basic set from the Cuba Maze line of marble runs. Basically, it is a all plastic marble run, and the marble run itself is made out of cubes. So there's three, three different cubes, and uh, here, here they are put together. But uh, I'll just show you the three different types. This one is, I'll start with this one. This one is called a two exit cube. And basically the marble comes into the cube and whichever way it comes in, it has only two ways to leave. It has to leave this side or this side. So that's the two exit cube. And the over here is the one exit cube. So once again, however the marble comes into the cube, it has only one way to come out, and that's through this one exit. And the last type of, mar of cube is the drop cube. Basically, no matter how the marble comes into the cube, it has only one choice, and that is to drop through a hole in the bottom. And using these three different types of cubes, you create your structure uh, bit by bit, and it ends up looking something like this. And I've used most of the cubes in the package, except for these and a couple of others. I bought this as a second-hand item. I paid $4. That was a really good price. Uh, I was lucky also because almost every piece was here. And that's a bit of a rarity when, you're, when you buy second-hand, and especially toys. Almost always something is broken, pieces are missing. In this case, everything was there, the pieces, all the cubes were there, the instructions were here, and I had 13 out of the 14 marbles, so I was pretty lucky. I just want to show you how the pieces are put together. Uh, it's a very simple process, actually, uh, of just sliding them together, and with a little bit of pressure, uh, you have... You've got it in place now. So I'll do that again just because I might, might have missed that the first time around. You're just basically sliding it in, a little bit of pressure, and this is a, basically a mini run. And with the two exit marbles, uh, the two exit cube, the marble basically has only two ways to go, and this gives you a demonstration of how it works. So the structure that I created, which was not from any design, because there actually is no design in the instruction booklet. It just tells you a little bit about how to put the pieces together. Um, well, actually tell a lie. There is a, one little mini uh, thing here. But basically you're on your own for the most part. And I like that about a toy. I like an open-ended toy that allows the child to just, you know, create. So this it basically has about, I'd say, seven points where there's a two-exit cube, and the marble goes left or right in that cube, and depending on where it goes, it's going to go down a different path. So there's about seven, eight different options for the marble run, the marble to go as it goes down this path. So I'm just going to do a little demonstration now so you get an idea of uh, how this works. So one of the nice features of this marble run is the fact that it is uh, transparent and you get to watch it go down. It's a little bit, it breaks apart a little bit on the, it's a little bit on the easy side in terms of breaking apart, but, but then again, it's easy to put together. So I think you have a bit of a trade-off there, usually in your marble run. If it's easy to put together, um, it's often a little bit of a st instability. So it's nice that the, the cubes are transparent and that you can watch the marbles as they cascade down and go down the different paths. 
of the uh, the marble run. There is um, the age that's uh, recommended on the box is ages five and up, and I think there's a good reason for that. Compared to many other marble runs, this one does have a little bit more intellectual challenge to it in terms of the design, because in a regular marble run, you're basically, um, you're just, you know, putting the pieces end to end, making sure they're, they're connected, and so long as the path continues to go, you know, flow down to the, from the top to the bottom, you're okay, but this one, there is no single path, there's multiple paths, there's, um, you know, a dozen or more paths in some cases, and uh, you have to... And the different paths, that they all look the same and they're all winding around each other, so it's a little bit more challenging intellectually. So I can understand why it was designated for ages five and up. I like this marble run. I prefer wooden marble runs as a general rule. Um, I still do, but of all the plastic runs, I do like this one the best so far because I like the simplicity of it. Although they do have stunt sets where you can buy things like windmills and whirly gigs and uh, jumping things and those dishes where the marbles go round and round, uh, I'm not that impressed with those kinds of things. I prefer uh, toys like this where the fun is in the thinking and the fun is in seeing the, uh, reward, the reward and the end result of your thinking which is basically the design of the marble room and watching, watching the marbles go down it. That's where I, I, I get the satisfaction. My four-year-old granddaughter enjoyed this. She enjoyed running the marble run, the marbles down the run. Um, I do believe it is too advanced for her in terms of her being able to design it at this point in time. But I will keep bringing the set out so that hopefully in the future she'll be able to enjoy it as well as my other grandchildren.